Hey, hey, and hello, everybody. Welcome back to Monday. And welcome back to Massively Overpowered Television, where we're bringing you two, a two for Monday today, so that we can help your Monday be MMO'd a little bit better, especially if you're stuck at work. I am your host at this hour, MJ, and today I am jumping into Star Trek Online. Now, I've been meaning to get in and get to the story, but of course, I like to do these story bits with you guys. So, I had to wait until I could schedule a time. Now, I thought of doing a Star Trek Saturday, you know, <coughs> Space Story Saturday, but I really didn't want to wait, and there were other things always coming up. And then I even had some points where my health was like, no, you don't get to stream right now. So I've been trying to take it easy today. I really haven't done <laughs> much of anything so that I didn't end up unable to work with y'all. So... Yay, I'm here. Oh, I'm a little sad because I know as soon as I move into game. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, here we go. Hit games. And it should start showing any second now, hopefully. There we go. There we go. See, huh. I'm, you're going to notice where I ended up, which was in the Josana system, because as soon as you load it, whoop! To Josanna! <laughs> yeah, that's when I was doing events and going and getting um, Phoenix prize packs daily. So it was just easier to just hang out there. Yeah, I should have moved from here. Thought about it, and then I, I failed. So here we go. This is actually what we're doing today. We are doing the uh, Star Trek Online Unraveled storyline. And the new episode is called... <coughs> Witch upon a star. Oh my gosh. Wow. What I should be wishing for right now is an end to coughing. I don't know why it's being so bad right now. Other than it gets bad when I talk, of course. Um, no, there is not a Disney tie-in. I do not believe there will be any crickets coming in. And no... When you wish upon a star, you know, uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's going to happen, but it does make you think that. And if there's a cricket in an episode here somewhere, like even on the ground, like a giant cricket off to the side or something, I'm going to send much love to uh, Star Trek Online devs. <laughs> to Josanna. You're cleared for docking. We have everything you need for shore leave. And a few things that you didn't even know you wanted. Right. Shopping, drinking, dining, entertainment. You'll Sh find it shush. all here. And don't forget shush. the 77th rule of acquisition. If you break it, I'll charge you for it. <laughs> there you go. So we're not doing Josanna. We're going to be doing the event. Now, I'm actually excited. I have... All right, it says access episodes, but I'm going to go here first. So what I still need to do is I have not done the new TFO because I want to do it with you guys, but uh, it's taking too long. <laughs> so if I can't squeeze that in this week or something, yeah, I'm just going to do it. Uh, if you see, like I'm actually at 22 out of 40 progress. Uh, I did mine this morning, so, you know, I have 13 hours left before I can do it again. And, uh, let's, well, there we go. We'll just have to go to episodes now. Although, we can go right here to events, I guess. Play now. The we'll Lucari have been working on a project in the Nakul system. If successful, the damage to the star in that system will be repaired. Admiral Pumarke has requested our assistance. I want you to provide it. She sent specifications for a device called the Stellar Rejuvenator. Have your engineer install it on your ship before you disembark. 
You will use it as part of the Lucari efforts there. Report to Admiral Kumarke in the Nakul system when you are ready to begin. The Tholian Crystalline Interlacer. Compared to a plasma infuser, which I already have. Oh, wait, we're going to apply our own Tholian webs to targets? Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is, yeah. All right, this is worth it. Go. Do what must be done. All right, so here we are. We're just going to transwarp. Am I being joined? I need to check and see. I'm just going to transwarp the area and find out. I have to come look over here. Except my mouse has disappeared on me. Mouse. Bad mouse. I'm trying so hard not to keep singing that song, y'all. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, look. I just need to come over here because <coughs> I kind of wish, uh, uh, I wish that I could set a channel like my streaming channel to auto put me to voice activated whenever I come in this channel. That would so work so nicely for me. All right. Uh, let's see. Friends. Calling on friends. All right. So I will hang here. And we're going to hope it's not your face in all the cutscenes, but... Yeah, we know. We know. Oh, this I need this. Yeah. Um, I'm here. What sec? What uh? What number are you in? Uh, looks like I'm in number six. Because I have my breakfast up here with me. Everyone, my wonderful little protein shake. It is yummy. Once you add frozen bananas and frozen strawberries, boy, can it make anything yummy. Uh, and, you know, chop them up. I love it because banana, uh, is, if you have it before the banana is uh, really ripe, that's where a lot of the banana flavor comes from. But if you have it uh, before it does that, then all it does is make things super creamy like ice cream. And you have it frozen, it makes it so thick and frothy and... Oh my gosh. That's the only way I've been able to handle doing this lately. <laughs> ah, there you are. I see you. Okay. Checking out your new paint job. Can I just say that the name of your ship I totally read is Chia Pug? <laughs> Sorry. Sure. Chia Pug. All right, everyone. Oh, there we go. Yes, I actually bought a new skin, a Dilithium skin that went off the market 11 minutes ago now, from what I understand. Um, first time I spent my Dilithium, my 1.3 million Dilithium that I've not been doing anything with. And it was, what was the name of this one? The, bo not bovine, boo. Boo. The Baul. And look at it. It is dark. So my bright pink ship is now gone for the moment. Or, well, the bright pink lights. Because I had the breast cancer awareness vanity shield on. And now I have this one, which... Doesn't look... Com you know, if you get right in the light of the planet, you can actually see the 
planet wigging out. Okay. All right, Mr. Planet. Um, uh, you can see the kind of modeled look like it's on metal, you know. And then you get away from that bright light, and it's like, nope, I'm just hiding. You can't see me. Ha ha ha. Thankfully, they do continue to keep a few lights on your ship so you don't lose it in space. What was with that planet over there? I mean, you turn it like this, or the sun. It's like, wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. I'm about to explode. Look at me. Okay, do it again. There it is. Waha! It's like I've trapped the, the sun in a time travel or yeah. something. MJ looks at the sun. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh yeah, weird. I, I didn't mean to call it a planet earlier. I'm not really that um, out of touch, but that's okay. All right. Now we need our... Uh, so yeah, it was, okay, here we go, Dilithium Store, right? We clicked here. First time I ever used this. Oh yeah, it was gone. There we go. There was a thing right here of vanity shields with exclamation points on it. It's just the way of saying, oh my gosh, it's going away, hurry up. And uh, I, bought, I bought something with Dilithium for the first time in my Star Trek Online career, folks. And look, I have under a million now. I'm sad. Literally, I never, yeah. Let's see, what do I have asset-wise? Oh, none to exchange. Yeah, I, I did also have a million. Basically, I had to refine all at once, because, I, yeah. Okay, let's begin wishing upon a star. Here we go. Your lead, I'll let you start it. I started, I went in, or wait. Captain's log, fifth reckoning, chronicle 36. We are about to commence work on a most important operation. An attempt to revitalize the Nakul Star. One of the finest vessels in the Alliance is joining our efforts today. May the wisdom of Lucar guide us to success. Obviously they were talking about me. Finest ships. Thank yeah. you for coming. I trust your engineer has installed a stellar rejuvenator module on your vessel. Ah, uh, yes, they have indeed, Admiral. Yes. Splendid. We'll begin momentarily, though I should warn you that our cool are somewhat anxious about this procedure and any complications that might arise. Indeed. But we have earned our trust over the months of research here, and I intend to honor that today. Heading to the primary coordinates now. All hands, prepare to deploy the stellar rejuvenators. It's time to heal a star. This is called the Operation Oil of Olay. Don't they always have those regenerators, regenerists, regen stuff? That's what I'm calling it. All right, I stopped at the point. I shall report in. I am representative Katek of the Nakul. Our fleet commander has informed me your vessels have moved to the designated start point for this operation. I assume you are ready to begin? Ah, uh, you know what? Never mind. No, don't want to bother. Have fun with your star. I'll just leave now. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Thank you. If I may interrupt. Representative, we are indeed ready to begin the process. With your blessing, of course. Very well. Our fleet is standing by to assist you if necessary. Why does it feel like our fleet is standing by to blow you out of the air, you know, if necessary? <laughs> the time has come. Admiral Kumarte, I hereby authorize you and your associates to proceed. May your efforts lead to a new dawn for the Nakul people. Yep, can't see my ship for anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that you're like invisible against the asteroids. Uh, I gotta, if I move up, there you go. There we go. You can find a position where you can see my ship. Activate. You can only see your ship by where you can't see something else. 
That is very true. All right, activating Stellar Rejuvenator. You want me to adjust cohesion beam at frequency. Oh! That's an actual thing to do! Crud. Do the thing, do the thing. I was like sitting back, I'm just pushing buttons, taking a drink of my shake here, and then, you know, do work. We're reading several disruptions in the cohesion beam, originating 100,000 kilometers from it's the It's a good stars. thing you just had the anniversary year in practice. That's true, but I had like I had to put this down, and I'm like, ah! There we go. I'm done. I've had my breakfast now. Adjust your course to the following coordinates. Let's see if the situation improves there. If we tighten formation, our beams may reinforce one another. Agreed. Move to the following coordinates. You're going fast, I'm going slow. Follow the Chia Pug. Follow. Oh. <laughs> it's a pug. I love it. You've reached the new coordinates. Deploy from there. Once you've redeployed, you'll need to adjust the frequency again. Okay. So I gotta be prepared to the, uh,. All right, so we're reactivating. Oh, oh, good. I don't have to. Wait, I thought my ship was supposed to be doing it. Oh, it's not. They're doing it. Okay. Adjust frequency. Ooh, cutscene. Initiate stellar modulation sequence on my mark. Mark. Modulation initiated. Energy levels are increasing. Reading erratic spikes at the stellar core. Don't blow their sun up. Please support. don't blow their sun up. Ships, now. Oh no. Don't blow their sun up. Don't kill their sun. People have get very, you know, angry. Oh, deactivate. People get very angry when you, you know, kill their suns. That was far too close for comfort. down when we did. A stellar flare would have backfired along the cohesion beam. The damage to us and the Nakul would have been catastrophic. You don't want catastrophic stuff. I've received some alarming reports from our fleet. I demand to know what's happening up there. I suggest you do so quickly and with positive results. Rest assured, if you do not save our star, then you can be certain that our fleet will avenge it. Right, because we were here to help, but if we fail at helping, then it's our fault. Isn't that just the way it goes? I've taken a look at our data from the instant, and I believe I've found something. Found something. I finally found something. I've discovered where the cohesion beam starts to suffer interference. The coordinates are 0.4 AU from the star. I gotta tell you, though, I mean, even leaving our ships out of it, this is a very pretty screenshot. I mean, you gotta admit that sun now looks prettier than it did, right? Should zoom in on your dark. Oh, never mind. Like I did. Oh, you just. I thought you hit the button. You just took your screen away. I said, you do zoom in on the dark ship and get it against the sun. <laughs> like turn yourself around. I guess. Yep, yep. I gotta turn a little bit. I'm ready for my close up, Mister Fidel. It's like sorry, Nicole guys. We're uh, pausing for a screenshot here. We'll get back to your son momentarily. Yeah, sorry. Your son looks beautiful. We must take this opportunity first 
to a, oh, you know, actually, I want a bat signal picture. <laughs> We're going to bat signal this one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right. All the way up. Keep going up. Wait, it won't nose up anymore? Crud, that's as nosy as it's going to get. All right. And this is also as far back as it's going to let me get. Ah, oh, well. Come on, come on. You can go closer to the sun, make the sun bigger. Oh, there we go. We need to get closer to the sun. Hang on, I gotta put the nose down. Uh, Map might also limit how close you can get, but you can get closer than this, I'm sure. No, I'm not going to full impulse to a desired, des desired coordinates. Nope. Yeah, first. since it's giving us a clicky for that, I'm assuming it's going to change the map. Let's see if I That's why I thought when you clicked it that uh, this screenshot opportunity would have passed. That is very true. I'm not sure it's really getting much bigger. Maybe it's a sticker. Gosh, that was so frightening looking. Like, you get closer to it, gets smaller. What? Wait. That was so, and it literally was just it looked like a little blue child's sticker. All right. Yeah, I guess on this map it's just background. That's a bummer. All right, nose back up. Slowly she tilts. <laughs> Ta da Oh, actually, it looks like I'm giving the sun a hug. Look at that. It'll be okay, son. <laughs> Everything's <Real> all right. <laughs> that's, that's actually kind of hilarious. Yep. All right. Say, so move it up a little, and the sun will be wearing you as a crown. Oh, move up a little, huh? No, I said, if you, I said, if you move it up a little, the sun will be wearing you as a crown. <laughs> Oh there, oh, there we go. It's it's my hat. My Klingon sun hat. <laughs> it looks like a cowboy hat or a crown. It kind of looks like a cowboy crown. <laughs> now I'm going to put two little eyes and a smiley face on that and make that one. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, we're, am I weird? Am I weird? Yes. We all knew that, right? Weird. No, this is serious stellar science, people. Oh, wait. If we do it this way, it's, uh, you know, super handlebar mustache, kind of. Hello. <laughs> it's a, you know, evil villain kind of planet with a, a handlebar mustache. <laughs> gotta stop, gotta stop. Okay. All right, we're uh, back to serious mode. Okay, full impulsing. Full impulsing to designated coordinates. Oh, I should have kept my nose down. I would have then shot into the sun. That sucks! I should have put the nose back down. That would have been a cool picture. Oh well. Alright, I believe it's time to get to the bottom of this before the administrator loses his patience. Yes, yes. Oh, we are closer now. Oh, heck yeah. It's got the... That really kind of ruins it. Maybe we'll have an opportunity later in this map. 
Yeah. Otherwise, it's kind of like, oh, bummer. There we go. Oops. Wrong way. Sure, we'll do an underbelly shot. Whee! Actually, at this point, it's a little too bright. You can't really see that my ship is black. All right, all right. Back to the... Go towards the coordinates. Scan asteroid alpha. On it. The asteroid is emitting energy in a pattern similar to that of the star earlier. Whatever caused that issue may be in effect here as well. We are still unable to conduct a deep scan of the asteroid, however. If we can devise a way to do so, I believe we will find more answers. There is a human expression. You cannot prepare an omelet without cracking a few eggs, or in this case, asteroids. If we fracture one of them with our weapons, we will expose the core and obtain the deep scan results we see. And hopefully not blow up the universe in the meantime. I guess here's the thing we don't understand. Let's blow it up as our first step. Yeah. Would you like assistance blowing it up? There you go. I was taking a screenshot. I mean. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this comet's trail is really attractive. asteroid for future mining operations under the circumstances i believe they'll agree that its loss will be acceptable i certainly hope so ma'am i'd prefer not to incur their wrath today i really wish you would stop doing that uh it said next set of coordinates but Um, what? I don't see any other coordinates. Uh, big arrow on minimap. Oh, okay. Fine, follow the map. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, don't shoot it too hard this time. According to the writers, is they're controlling my level of shooting today. All right, let's scan the debris for reactive particles. That did the trick. Scanning our little cracked egg now. similar to what is happening to the interior of the Nakul star. I'd like to crack another egg and conduct a scan of it before moving on to making the omelet, so to speak. If my hypothesis is correct, the radiation signature present will match, bringing us another step closer to understanding this phenomenon. Remember, we do not want to pulverize our next target. The Nakul have detected our weapons fire, Admiral. They are understandably curious. Update them on our activities here, Captain. We've nothing to hide. Whee! 
spinning round. Ride round, baby, ride round, like a record round. I'm sorry. It's sort of. No, yeah, no, I'm kind of a little sorry. Because I butchered the song to start with. Okay. No, they're not cool gonna be upset about uh, burning up a few asteroids I mean are these asteroids sacred or something well, considering that they had marked one for mining I don't think I mean loss of resources maybe ah okay asteroid successfully fractured begin your scans now it's a match very good captain now Let's compare radiation signatures. All right, this is a good angle for your son if you want a screenshot, by the way, because that exclamation point will be out of your picture. Oh, yeah. Let me get out of your picture. Yeah, but it's so funny. It doesn't look at all... Here we go. We're, we're, we're going to get our bat signal picture in here. Although not totally, since the darn ship won't go any higher than... Oh, this one looks even more like a, a, you know, evil mustache. If you zoom in, does the glare on your ship go away, or is it just constant? Yeah, no, it... I, I, I think we're just too close to the sun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we go this close, but then we end up blocking nice. the sun. Yeah, Darth and Deviant in the... Uh... Oh! Darth and Deviant fish have joined chat. Hello, hello, Deviant and Darth. Don't mind us, we're just, uh, hugging planets. Let me give you a hug. Am I using this, uh, as a star, sh you know, a screenshot opportunity? You betcha. Yeah, look at that. You can almost not even see the black ship inside. Wow. Oh my gosh! My my starship butt looks like a, a manta a bit. Look, I got a little bit of a funky smile with the two eyes. You know, the colorations, and then... Actually, it, it reminds me of the face of one of those blobfish. <laughs> I've got a blobfish manta ship. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Let's compare signatures. Is that actually something I need? Oh, what the? Oh, hey, new mini game. <laughs> well, not new, but one they don't use often. Yeah, I was not expecting this. Time to make our omelet. There are some reactive gas clouds nearby. If their radiation pattern matches those present in the asteroid cores, we can triangulate the origin point and locate the source. Admiral, the Nikul representative is concerned about the destruction of valuable asteroids. Inform him that the Alliance will compensate the Nikul for their loss. As you wish, Admiral. Anfame, out. Uh oh. Aren't we compensating them by trying to make sure their sun doesn't go poof? You know, yeah. 
they should be compensating us once their son is no longer, you know, blowing up. I'm just saying. This would look cool, except for the big exclamation point. Starship butt. I said starship butt. Starships have butts too, you know. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. The back end. What is the back end? The back end is the butt. Ah, oh, come on. Analysis complete. The wave patterns are a match. Indeed. I'm transmitting the coordinates to you and Captain Onvalme. Head there now. Once you've arrived, we can triangulate the location of the anomaly source. Round we go. I mean, those other asteroids are still mineable. They were big chunks. We only obliterated one. Oh, I'm not close enough, am I? All right. Had my nose down. Full stop. I feel like we should have been in a triangle. That would have, uh... Compiling sensor data now. Aha! There you are. The multiphasic pulse waves are originating from high orbit around the planet closest to the Nakul star. Nothing conclusive at this time, I'm afraid. However, if I were to speculate... It's almost like something is tapping against the fabric of space-time. <laughs> tap. 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 <laughs> that is discomforting. Set course the wave source. Here we go. Whoosh. Oh, that wasn't a whoosh. That was a... Chugga, 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 chugga. <laughs> Fooled me. We're approaching the coordinates now. I trust you've spotted our uninvited guest. Yeah, look at that. One thing is certain. We have a limited amount of time to determine what they are doing here. Teeny space fighter. Considering their turbulence. I doubt the Tholians will receive a cordial greeting from Representative Kartek or his forces. This is peculiar. The Tholians are known for their aggression in response to alien forces, and yet they haven't scanned us or gone to battle readiness. It's as if they are ignoring us. Attention, Tholian forces. I am Admiral Kumarke of the LSS Raskava. You have violated Nakul space and are disrupting a critical procedure here. I'm instructing you to cease all activities and explain your presence in this system immediately. The border violation is inconsequential. Our work takes priority. We will continue. Do not interfere. Your continued presence is unnecessary. The loss of this star is acceptable to us. Mm -hmm. Further discussion is irrelevant. Leave now or you will be fired upon. Tholian vessels are going to battle stations. They're moving into attack formation. Battle stations. Tactical. Aim to disable, not destroy. I'm not sure they'll reciprocate that courtesy, Admiral. We need answers, Captain. And it's rather difficult to get them from the dead. Understood. 
Firing to disable only. Yeah, disable their weapons is helpful. Are they going to look disabled or are they going to explode on the screen? I'm betting they're going to explode. Oh, I'm wrong. It did not explode. I, I feel... They're trying to trap me, huh? You missed. Well, you got me, but I broke out. Wow, am I like causing no damage on that dude or is he getting heals or something? Holy crud. Down with you. Yeah, some of these seem to be taking zero damage. I don't know why. Oh, no, now it's taking damage. Yeah, it's like, what... Beaming over to Tholian ship. Sure. Wait. Let's make haste. The Tholians will muster their security forces once they detect us. And combat could lead to our EV suits being compromised. If that happens, we won't last long in the hostile environment here. Let's begin by scanning the access terminals in this chamber. Find one with main computer access and use it to get a layout of the ship. 
Once we have that, we can identify the best route to the web generation system and disable it. Let's start with that console over there. Oh, I'll just walk on the console, no big deal. Are we sure that disabling the web around this dangerous spatial anomaly is the thing we want to do? I'm honestly thinking that might be a problem. I mean, maybe they're trying to keep it from... That's one thing. I mean, we don't know for sure that the web isn't the only thing stopping it from doing something even worse. I mean, maybe it would have exploded the star already if they were not stopping it. But they said loss of the star was acceptable, so they might be harnessing it as an ahead. energy. Neutralize them so we can access the computers in this node. Oh, here we go. Wow. Let's forget your sparkles. There we go. Forget about guns. Batlets! We're clear. Let's run a bypass on that console while we can. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Uh, oh, wow. This is different. What? Wait. Making me do all the things today. Uh, like, MJ's all, what is this? I don't recall it. Uh... Oh, this is the dilithium mining minigame. Just on a very unfortunate background that I can't see the uh, things uh, on. Uh... How long do I have to do this? Holy macaronis. Okay. Woo! This is They're really testing me. The webs are somehow penetrating multiple dimensions simultaneously. They appear to be solidifying elements of space time. Between these dimensions, repairing damage to the very fabric of reality. They're repairing damage. Okay, how do we shut it down? Wait a minute, is that really what I should be saying? It's a, it's like, come on, you just said it's repairing damage to the fabric of reality. We want to stop that. I, I like Hikari's. It'll be fine. Tholians tend to take a cut off ten limbs to save the head mentality, so it's. Probably not something we want to let them keep doing. Okay. There are two spinnerets, shall we say, that emit the energy used to generate the web in space. They all need to be neutralized. 
Once they're down, we can disable the web generator's primary core, and the entire system will be offline. Oh, is that the fan? It's making my mic thing go nutso. Can you guys hear my fan really loud? It's kind of hot up in the room today. Unfortunately, no. Their security is blocking access. We'll need to bypass that at a nearby security node. Wait a minute. I'd like to access the astrometrics console here. Find more data on the anomaly. Watch, we're going to end up helping them. The Tholians have compiled a detailed list of space-time anomalies throughout known space. Judging by the star dates, they've been at this for quite some time. Centuries, in fact. Yes, this system is listed an analogy to another game where we kind of make things worse to make things better. <laughs> Yeah, car. It's okay. There are still five dragons left. We can kill two of them. Uh. Let's access this science console. I have a feeling. Look out! More Tholians! Aw, man. Oh, there we go. Go back and chop, chop! Yeah, I don't need shields. I just need to chop the spider's legs off! Torturing rats with a hacksaw and pulling the wings off of flies. Those were the good old days. Well, I assume she's going to... Okay. <laughs> I'm like, there's nothing for me to click anymore. Come here, you. Whoa, bigger one. Come back here, you. Did you just die already? Oh, wait, that is the direction we want to go, so... Oh wow, they're all after me. 
Yeah, because you ran in alone while we were trying to res your crew. Oh. They're sleeping on the job, man. Their problem. Uh-oh. Y'all run, be safe. If I respawn, how far back will I go, I think? Yeah, you just Leroy your way in there. <laughs> okay, I'll respawn. No, run from them. And normally I'd stick with the laser, but... Everyone, gather up. <laughs> Oh, right. This is where you start doing stuff and we'll make yes. sure they don't hit you. I prefer to face as little Tholian hospitality as possible, if you don't mind. Oh, I was going to say, I ran right back into another one. Incapacitated again. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can come back in real quick. Uh, maybe. Run! Maybe switch back to gun here. Oh, you know what I keep forgetting? Like, ground friends. Oh, I've been webbed! Wait a minute, why... Why is my angel suit not on here? Well, that's really bad when you're actually, uh... Holy macaroni! I was counting on that, and it's no longer in my... It's not on my bar. Oh my gosh, did I accidentally take it off so I could become a cat? That's what's missing on my four key. Wait, you're still up? Oh, no fair. You don't get to go hide on the other side of a wall. Okay, yeah, these are healing just like the ships. Guys are super annoying. Back to the gun. Oh, and they're still coming. You know what? There. Holy crud.
This does end at some point, right? <laughs> I'm watching our progress bar. Oh my gosh. Wow. the one in there attacking her again, isn't it? If I didn't want this to try to... Oh, there. Her progress is almost done. Wow. I'm doing very poorly, but... That's a uh, known for me. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I can't floor his lava again. Oh my gosh, oh the... So much! This is insane! Maybe I should have kept floor's lava for a minute. Where's my war pig? My war pig's not even on here now. Many spiders. Yeah. I think I took all my stims off. I don't even know what I did here. Where's my... I can barely get back in there. There are so many of them. Okay, where's my red angel suit? Is it? It's probably gone because of the suits we're wearing. <gasps> oh, that's. Now just kill the spiders. <laughs> come on, floors lava, come back. All right, floors lava is back. I think. Wasn't that what that was? Nope. Wow. Apparently warping. Can I at least kill a webmaster? I don't know. I'm going in the room and war lava floor. Or at least I was going to try. You sneaky little horrible things! Get in there and stand in the lava, why don't you? Oh my gosh. I don't know what anything does. I'm just gonna. For every one we kill, two more spawn. I know, this is insane. Yeah, me too, lady. Oh, did she fall, or...? Because some days I wish I stayed in the lab. Yep, she's... Uh... Oh. Security bypass in effect. And I found something rather peculiar. Holy cow. Wait, she just ran on before finished talking. I have no idea what she said. Okay. Try this again. She's still talking. To me. Nope, she got it, ran away and oh, I had to start over.
Unlock the door to the main web generator. Alright. Proceed with caution. There <laughs> must be a reason those doors are locked when the device is in use. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's all fine. Yeah, Darth is singing to us. Hello, Sphinx! Just another death counter Monday. Main web generator is ahead. Get ready for a fight. Can I have sparkles? Get ready for a fight. Good. We haven't had one of those yet. Where'd you go? I'm at the front. All right. Holy! I was trying to lure one out. That didn't help. Go up and start shooting! Oh, did I just call a third one? Hey. Alright, I'm okay with that. You know, they've talked about cracking eggs like an omelet. I've always thought this uh, melee skill for the rifle looked like a cracked egg. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing now? Discussing the plan. Oh, here she comes. Alright. Oh, she's following you. Okay. Well, I think I just need to discuss the plan, though. I know. We need to get to the spinneret controls in two adjacent rooms and shut them both down. Doing so could overload the bypass relays and send a power surge into the vessel's warp core, resulting in a breach. When both spinnerets are deactivated, we can return here and safely disengage the primary projector. All right, off to spinnerets. Wait, where's the door? Just gonna see if we can, uh...
Yeah, combat environmental suit? No. I mean, that's why I thought the Red Angel would have been that. Sure, let's leave the mobs in there. We don't need them. Well, apparently it doesn't want us to move on until they're all dead, because there's no way to shut off in here. Yet. Yeah. Darn. Well, that plan's out the window. She oh said, she said, let's, let's move on and do it. So it's like, all right, let's move on and do well, it. I noticed in the first room that they kept, re like, they kept spawning until we hit the console. So I ran straight to the console this time. Yeah. Oh, I probably couldn't do it because she was back there and there with you and we need to talk to her. Okay. Yeah, totally worth it to stop the respawns. I'm not taking your cutscenes. I'm just taking your NPCs. Where'd she go? Did she, uh, did she... She's just standing there. <laughs> she just decided not to join us? Okay. Well... It's like, I don't want to go in there. All right, we'll come and talk to you here then. Right. We need to disengage the primary projector from the main web generator now. I'll use an encryption algorithm to lock them out of the controls. That should buy us the time we need to implement well, a better solution. Um, the Red Angel suit. I don't know if it would potentially count as an environmental suit, but now they have two different um, slots in your inventory for them. So even if it can't, it probably can't count as both at the same time. Tholium web generator is inoperative. We did it. We should beam back as soon as... <gasps> Wait! They've raised their shields! We're trapped! Well, this will be fun. Oh, Dragons. yeah, this will be fun and Dragons. easy, I'm sure. You killed us all. Well, doom is what we do. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom. Wait, I have no suit anymore? Oh, there it is. Um. Oh, there it is. Where's our people's? I'm not sure. Ah, oh, the. Yeah, we should avoid that. Get out of it, get out of it. I'm in a web. Oh, I'm gonna die. I can't get out of this. Yep. Forget about respawning. We'll just... Important to stay, uh, close to him. 
Okay, my weapons are broken. Oh, with how many times I've died, who knows? Do my weapons even do anything now? No, like, not damaged broken. Like, they don't... The buttons don't work anymore broken. Oh, no. Get back in the lava! Why did you guys get smart? Huh? Oh, I really need a shield. Don't I have any kind of... Is it a new different? Not sure. Okay, it's going down a little bit. I know, I keep having it where I'm I'm clicking my button and nothing happens for the longest time. Like, it won't shoot, I just stand there like some kind of... See, nothing's happening. It won't click. Because it's immune. I mean, no, but I mean, I I can't even shoot. Your gun should still shoot if even if it's immune. I'm just waiting for it to go into the not immune phases and then trying everything I got. Yeah, like now. I can't do anything. Okay. Shoot! I didn't manage to use my hypo thingy. webby thing. There we go. Oh, and I had one second before I could use a new hypo. I did manage to use one hypo today. Oh, jeez. There's no getting out of this one. Oh. Yeah, this is not really fun. Sorry that I suck this much. Cease hostilities. I mean you no harm. Oh. <laughs> you mean us no harm. Um. Well, that's the developers. Hold your fire. I am now the ranking officer aboard this vessel. And I wish to discuss matters with you peacefully. Okay, now I was like, well, why didn't you stop earlier? It's because he wasn't the ranking officer earlier. Tholian, speaking Federation. Correct. Long ago, I traveled alongside the crew of the USS Enterprise under the command of Captain James T. Kirk. While among their crew, I was given the designation Bright Eyes by my good friend, Niota Uhura. We realized that you were trying to repair an anomaly in space-time here, but 
individual procedure is damaging the Nakul star to critical levels. I am prepared to hear your proposal, Admiral, but we must speak quickly. It is only a matter of time before my fellow Tholians on other vessels regroup, and you will find they are not as understanding as I am. I propose a coordinated effort between our ships and yours. We can integrate a protomatter matrix into the web lattice your ship generates, increasing the speed at which the Raksha is seen. By doing so, the frequency of pulse waves generated by the repair process will be reduced to acceptable levels, ending the damage to the nearby star. Yes, yes. I believe the Admiral's proposal will solve both problems efficiently, but we'll need to move fast. Use these access codes to override the encryption and re-enable the web generator. Oh, she's telling me to go do it. Well, she's telling him to go do it. The web generator is back online. Let's coordinate next steps from our What exactly perspective. is your bridge officer over there? Uh which one? The one that looks like he's about to go into the thriller dance. Oh. Who is he? Oh, uh, no, not that button. That button. Oh, he's a uh, he's an alligator boy. Oh, okay then. My uh, KDF tactical Norn. And then I have my purple uh, alien male dude. Who every time on my screen when I'm loading in, he's like standing just to the side behind me, but he's staring at me, the player. He's just like got this look, his head's down a little, and he's like, I see you. <laughs> it's really freaky every single time I log her in, let me tell you. Let's see, Hikari says that Bright Eyes is from a random issue of the IDW comics. Ah. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I didn't uh, check the setup for the... I have mine set up so how it goes when I'm solo. But, you, yeah, I didn't are check for me. set up these days, or should we have brought mine for next time? <laughs> next time? Well, I have these... These guys should be set up, but, I mean, I don't have a an engineer. Yeah, because I've got an engineer that'll do, like, turrets and stuff to draw fire away from us. I mean, if I by myself, I had an engineer. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But we got through. We got through to this point. There we go. I've got my other. There's the, of course, um, Kagan is somebody I used to bring more. Let's see, engineering. Oh, my engineering guy is not very high. Not very good. My science and uh, tacticals are better. Just probably why he got bumped off the list for a bit. Hmm. All right, beam back. Right. Turn around, bright eyes. We have a situation. The Nikul have detected the Tholian force here and have dispatched their fleet to our location. Uh, Quicker course. than you think, unfortunately. Though I gave Representative Katek every assurance that the situation was under control here. He refused to believe me. He said the Nikul would deal with the Tholians. And if we got in their way... If you don't step down, your star's blown up. So shove it, dude. I take it you've heard the news. Bright Eyes and I will do our best to implement our plan, but we'll need time and protection. Turn Any around, around. Can around. Restore to battle readiness will be of great assistance. Every now and then it falls apart. Time and space are all gone. Oh. Here they come. Every Tholian ship repaired will be an ally in this conflict. Restore Tholian ships if possible. We need all the help we can get. Oh, that's gonna make us. Remember, aim to disable, not 
not destroy. Yeah, the other guys are going to be mad at us. In good news, I heard that my daughter uh, is taking my little guy and they are making uh, dinner today. Ha 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 ha. I know how to make dinner. You could be mad we're firing on their ships, man. Ooh, don't get hit by that thing. Oh, what? The big pinwheel spinny thing. Oh. Right, calling in my swarm. Yeah, me and this destroyer are not, uh, Oh, there's my first ship explosion, at least. Oh, wow, that's a long respawn. Whoops, cutscene. We have taken heavy damage. Our web systems are offline. Well, now they're all going to be... Pulled in. Cats. Oh, Dr. Harble. That's not a good sound. <laughs> on Vame, the Trilune. They're gone. Lost. Yeah. Our was... web generator is offline, and we've suffered critical damage. If we don't seal the Vortex soon, we may not get another chance. The Vortex is destabilizing the star at an accelerated rate. If we do not seal it soon, the star will reach supernova status. Right. The protomatter matrix is stable, so we need to reinforce the Tholian web lattice as soon as possible. I have sent the schematics for web stitching probes to you. Deploy them around the perimeter of the vortex. Each one will extrude a protomatter thread to my vessel. When all six probes are in position, we can energize the web and seal the vortex. Admiral Kumarke and I believe that sealing the vortex in this manner will allow the star to regenerate back to its previous state. But we must do so soon. Deploy the stitching probes at the designated warps. We need to energize the web soon, in order to save the Nikul star. Place the stitching probes quickly, then energize the web. Web projector link established. Web projector link established. Web projector link established. Projector link established. Web projector link established. Oh, I'm glad you can get there because I'm having trouble getting there. Web projector link established. 
Stitching probes are engaged. Energize the web. Nope, already defeated. Weaving emitter engaged. All functions optimal. Sew it up like a little purse. Protomatch matrix initiate. All ships withdraw to a safe distance at once. But our friend is gone for good. Uh, respawn. It appears I owe you an apology. My science team informs me that our star has been saved by you, the Lucari. And the phobia. Yeah, no help from you. Hey, but the guy's apologizing, you know, that's actually a big thing, right? <laughs> Our wish for a revitalized star will have to wait until more research on our star's instability can be conducted. Though it seems we have a new wish to make today. A wish for peace between the Nakul and the Tholia. Today, we saw Tholians risk their lives to preserve our sun, despite our belligerence. If they are willing to do that, perhaps they will be willing to broker an end to hostilities between us. Okay. Let's just stop here a second. This about face is a little too much, right? Right. It's like... Kill, kill, kill! I don't care that you say they're helping us. Kill, kill, kill! Oh, they helped us. Okay, yeah, you're my good friend now. They're so friendly. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah, not like grudging acceptance that they might have helped out or anything like that. Now it's like, you know, okay, it's time to be best buds. Yeah, and it's like, all right, I accept that they uh, helped us, but that doesn't erase the years of trouble. It will take time. No, it's like, okay, we can be friends. Yeah, that's just... Uh, that's while the Tholians were like, you know, we don't care if their star explodes. We're doing what we're doing. Yeah, sorry, y'all are acceptable casualties for us to do this thing, but. <laughs> oh, let's see. I'm gonna try to get my shot again here. Ta-da! There we go! <laughs> and this one really does look like a little mustache. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the whole reason that there are all these instabilities in this sector because of the not cool and the time travel, right? So, except for Bright Eyes, the Tholians probably aren't too receptive to, you know, chatting. Yeah, they're like, you idiots are messing this all up. And our forces will be returning to Tholian space shortly. Turn around. Bright. I can't stop. <laughs> we are reluctant to work alongside non-Tholians. <laughs> yep. matters we believe to be a result of their negatives. <laughs> you called it, Janik. These events from our leaders. I will encourage them to put aside their xenophobic tendencies and collaborate with the Alliance on the Vortex issue. Yeah, collaborate with the Alliance. Not with them, but the Alliance. It will not be easy, to be sure. But it is an effort I am willing to make. No matter the risk to my career or standing, I trust you will do the same when your leaders seek a solution to the problem. Very good. You betcha. I shall leave you then with the words of an old friend. Live long and prosper. Who monkey? There are days out here where the beauty, mystery, and excitement make all the work and sacrifice worthwhile. And then there are days like today. 
Of course. And today, we risked all. But not everyone lived to see our success. Indeed. May the captain and crew of the Dragoon find peace within the light in Lukar's name. Maybe they're just in another dimension right now, okay? I spoke that with happens a lot. Earlier. anyone willing to work on the vortex issue regardless of their affiliation now is not the time to hoard information now is the time to act before the vortices cause irreparable damage to space-time oh uh, I better return to sector space huh but it's so pretty Sun, so pretty. Oops, I guess we're nosing the wrong way there. Ah, we'll have to say goodbye to seeing my ship. <laughs> Sorry, right. all you have to do is just position it right in between other things and then you can find it. <laughs> oh, returning to sector space, but not accepting my reward yet. I'm going to wait till the morning. Oh, wait, see? Either just in another universe. Please be in a friendly one this time. Status report. Please. We have survived a transdimensional shunt, Captain. We are operating under emergency power, sir. Warp and impulse drives are offline. Restore main power as soon as possible, Engineer. What is our current position? Unable to verify, Captain. None of the nearby star systems appear on our navigational charts. Broaden your scan. Look for any recognizable systems. Sir, incoming warp signature detected. Unidentified vessel entering the system. Uh -oh. Any sign of hostility? Oh, hello. Oh, it's gonna be the other, isn't it? Oh, that's bright. It is beautiful. Incoming hail, sir. Let's see what our new friends have to say. Resistance is futile. Oh! Oh! That was a cliffhanger, okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to fight against those people once they've been absorbed by whatever found them, right? Oh man, probably. All right, we're going to listen to the chat. We're not gonna Space take the reward. These vortices are a threat to the Empire and our allies, left unchecked. They could destabilize all of space-time to the point of galactic collapse. We will not allow that to happen. I have instructed our best scientists to study the data you have provided and provide a priority list of vortices to repair. Admiral Kumarte will lead this operation, and she will need your help when the time comes to begin the repair process. I will contact you when the Admiral is ready to proceed. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I don't want to miss turning in a daily event progress, so I will do that tomorrow. Let's just close that so I don't accidentally do anything. <laughs> and that is it for today, everybody. That is Wish Upon a Star. Um, you may want to be stronger in ground crew than I am if you want to do this or invite some more friends. Um... <laughs> Sorry, Tannic, for my uh, flubbing my way through that. Uh, but hey, everybody who's a friend of the Death Counter, you've been sad that it's been starving for so many weeks. There you go. It has now squirreled up its deaths in its cheeks and has plenty to last it for a long, long while. <laughs> Hikari is saying, 
uh, she thinks it might be aliens from Discovery in the far future, but haven't seen anything to know for sure. So that's that's the guess she's thrown out. And... Oh, wait, we could actually hide in the web when we were doing that? Oh, that would, that would have been interesting. Uh, peace or pieces. That's, that's, you know, peace or in pieces. That's how it goes. That reminds me of the big guild in, or we call it a legion? No. In Lineage 2, the big, one of the big PvP guilds was called R.I.P. Rest in Pieces. That was a f funny, fun guild. Uh... <laughs> That is everything for today. I will continue more Star Trek adventures another time. I may not be able to get this new TFO. Well, I don't know. It goes till the 8th or something like that. So we might have a chance. If y'all want to go and read about Star Trek Online or, you know, any of the other whole bunches and bunches of stuff that we have, then... Go for it. It is all on MassLeoP.com. Here is a link to today's stream post. I'm actually giving you guys a challenge, okay? So, the Age of Conan stream post from the weekend has had the most comments of any stream post in, like, a year. So, <laughs> see if you can make a game we play more regularly top that. <laughs> You can also find the stream team calendar there and, of course, all the really awesome stuff on the site. Thank you so much for your support here on OPTV and, of course, your support for MassivelyOP.com, which allows OPTV to exist. Now, I have a message that dinner is ready. All right. Dude, this is nice. This is why you have kids, right? So they can grow up and then cook you dinner someday. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, everybody. I hope to see you tonight, 8 o'clock, our regular stream team adventures in Elder Scrolls Online as we continue the Craglorn story. Join in, tune in, and uh, tune the rest of the world out. If your Monday's been a Monday, then just come hang out with us and we'll pretend everything else doesn't exist for just a little bit. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you soon.